Absolutely. So what was your first investment? I want to know how much investment you need to start this business. So actually, when we started this, we started on a very uh, we because we bootstrapped. We were very you know agile in what we spent and. Um, Initial idea was to set up a store, but instead we thought we'll do it as an online model. That's so, working more. So mm. yes, and at least it provided the flexibility of uh, deciding because when you have fixed cost mm. of a rental space or a space, yeah, then yeah. you know then you are fixed. You cannot really uh, turn around or mm -hmm. move around much. So we were very agile in how much investment we were putting on. Also, we were exploring how this market moves forward. Mm. So for us, it was. Um, not, there was no research done on it, right? So mm. the budget-wise, like there was no. There was yeah, there's no budget. There is no um, mm. thing to follow as well. But so, little bit budget you need, right? Like to you do collect, need, you know, like maybe for example, if you would need collect this resources, you material. You do need to spend a couple of lakhs to put in the inventory, and then a lot of times inventory doesn't work as well. You need to then you know like. Some pieces get broken, and so, mm, yeah, yeah. so you do need but to But what was spend. the first check you have given to this company? I honestly first do not started. remember because uh, it was a lot of a self investment. So you know, it kind of kept the coming lowest. out of it. No, first uh, investment I want to. So know. I think must be around eighty thousand. Eighty thousand, not the first bad. time. The first time you started the just, your just when you journey. You started uh, doing it. And from now 80, where you have end up? So now we've, your company uh, we've actually, sounds. We've taken up. Uh, so if a bit like time, if we we talk, uh, talk the value of the company from 80,000, now where you value it, your company? We you have, must have gone. Yes, we have actually. Uh, we haven't gotten the uh, the the final valuation done as of now. Mm -hmm. But maybe in some time we will be able to you know do that and but share that growth. number. Yeah, the yes. graph has gone up. Yes. You must say we have. I think we have. Uh, serve now clients like uh, we have given it to Amazon, we provided it to RBI, Sheraton Hotel, we have also given it so to... So all big brands are with you now? We have given it to hospitals like Glen Eagle which is a Singapore Malaysia based hospital. They, they very recently did a brand launch event oh. uh, in India and they did an uh, event at four different locations, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, uh, Mumbai mm -hmm. and uh, their whole brand launch event was with our eco-friendly products. So we provided them with products. So I think it's a crore company. <laughs> we so, can, uh, and, and I think we are getting, uh, with time, we are getting a lot more opportunities as and accept, well. And yes. they are accepting it, yeah. Yes. Um, so bigger companies. We have provided a lot of MSMEs as well. Hmm. So we have brands which are jewelry brands. We've even provided to local jewelry brands as well. Hmm. Uh, because we help them with their branding. See, mm -hmm. everybody wants to stand out nowadays. Yes. So um, instead of using the regular merchandises, we provide them with something that is so unique that their um, mm. whoever receives them, they're in they, awe of what it and is. And the customized gift also. Yes, we do that. So um, for any celebrity, have you done a customized gift somebody want to gift or somebody uh, approached you? So and so celebrity. So I think for us, because we are we are only focused on companies. No, like sometimes they want to give yeah. or they want to use on their production house or like something. So have you uh, done something different, customized gift for us, some celebrity till now? So um, not for celebrity, but I think for us, even catering to an Amazon was a celebrity okay, moment because the brand. Okay. For us, it's about which brand can we serve and cater to and. For us, even doing it for RBI was a very big thing because we mm. could actually, uh, you know, uh, help them with their... That's uh, a compliment. Yes. Yeah. So for us, you know, brands, when these brands look at us and they collaborate, for us, and that's the celebrity well, okay. moment. <laughs> but any celebrity has come up and you got some social media message. Not yet, but I think that's a good idea to kind of do that. I think uh, <laughs> to, to approach celebrities as well. So we have been in B2B space. Eventually, we'll also... Um, venture into a B2C segment again, which we're already working on. Mm -hmm. So I think at that time we will have like a lot Brand of... Brand ambassador. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I must say how this journey is going on, like now it flourishes all over the city. In Hyderabad, you are the only guys or you have competitors still so now? So I think uh, now there are a couple of other people who are coming up in this space mm -hmm. and uh, uh, promoting products like these and that's actually has w been working out very well mm. for all of us who are in this ecosystem because 
more you are aware of this easier it, it good. is it is good exactly. actually it will not called a competition it's a no, good it's, thing it's a, the it's more people healthy. competition and more people yes. comes you'll save your that concept works more exactly because save the earth yeah. and you know the so you know nature. we keep talking about it mm. because um, we are an ecosystem you should have more competitors now <laughs> exactly, exactly. we are an ecosystem in fact we recently did a woodbox climate dialogue okay. in the city of hyderabad mm. and we got a lot of people who are in this space mm. people from waste management people who do uh, energy uh, efficiency hardware mm. and we all came together and even people who do similar products like us and we're like this is a time where you need collaboration yes you because your competition is any regular product that is already existing in market hmm. your com our competition is not fellow people who are in this space our hmm. competition is everyone else who's trying to even the single use plastic toothbrush that a hotel uses is our competition yeah right true. our competition is not someone who is uh, selling a bamboo toothbrush another brand our competition is all of those people mm. who are um, trying to solve the same problem for for our uh, buyers so it's a time when you know we are all in the, i think everyone in that space is in that frame of mind that we need to collaborate i think in the house also we need to use more of eco friendly products as we that shift is also yeah. you know i think happening as people become more educated they just start uh, implementing in their personal life as well mm. and that is what we need we need more people to know about this we need more people to be aware of how it's going to be healthy for them hmm. if i'm using something of natural material hmm. it's always better than using something which is synthetic chemical based or you know um, not good for for your consumption as well um, so but you know uh, but online it's happening everything is going fine and you know people are like you're getting good response right we are i mean hmm. uh, see honestly we started off as b2c and we pivoted to a b2b hmm. model where we thought we'll just do for companies and that was only because we were present digitally hmm. so this is all because we got inbound inquiries of uh, companies and institutions of different sizes coming to us and asking uh, can you do this for us for our company so because we were digitally hmm. present we are active on our uh, linkedin for example and linkedin works very well for us we have a website uh, we've exported as well our products have reached to australia mm -hmm. we sent it to france we sent it to uk we also sent it to canada and so us india people are liking the eco friendly concept right yeah because i think they also understand where the, the wave is going yes and sustainability is something that everybody wants to adopt at this stage right so we are at a very you know beautiful phase where mm. uh, the it's adoption needed of the hour. yes and adoption is happening which is i think most important thing for us really you gave great 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 inspiration i must say and the one thing we always scared of competition but you want that more competition to die that's a great yeah. spirit i must <laughs> say you have come up with so i just want to end up by knowing what are the benefits of using this products so i think for i mean extra benefits if we talk about the health side or some other sides what benefit do you think so for example i'll give by using example if you are utilizing say coconut shell mm, right mm. now coconut shell is a very is a natural material mm. if you pour tea or any other beverage in it uh, there is um, literally no um, synthetic or chemical that it is coming in contact with mm, right mm. so this is absolutely healthy we have had um, mothers buy coconut bowls for their kids that's a good one because you know they give them fruits they give them food in yeah. it and you know like uh, and the kids are eating it uh, and there is no harmful chemical that goes inside yes, into their yes. system so it's excellent you know health wise uh, when you look at uh, some other materials like um, loofah for example we provide natural loofah now when you're utilizing plastic loofah it is a synthetic mm -hmm. man made material mm -hmm. uh, it works with your body but you know i think when you use uh, materials which are natural then they know how to be in sync with your body without causing it unnecessary harm so it's much softer on your skin it prevents any form of allergy mm -hmm. it's natural it wouldn't cause any allergies to your skin uh, we have products like even neem wood combs uh, so that has antibacterial properties so if you use it to comb your hair uh you get rid of even things like you know dandruff and uh, any other uh, oh. infection that you may be having 
it wouldn't if you utilize neem neem ko yes neem has you are creating now you are creating these things see <laughs> you would have shown that also okay so so those are the kind of materials yeah. that are so good for uh, home made up of neem hair. yes exactly home made of neem if you are utilizing um, if you are eating again and these are the kind of so you have a lot of health benefits when you start incorporating them in your daily life mm. and uh, it's always good right if you live more healthily true then and, and we need it right yeah. this time so i have got another good idea like good concept that's neem comb neem comb yes yeah. so need, you're doing that we, we do that we do bamboo toothbrushes so no bamboo we yes heard, otherwise yeah. you use that and it's a plastic material but this uh, bamboo and the fiber are also bamboo viscose so they are uh, natural material and so nothing uh, unnatural is basically touching your life and your body yes. and your skin and it's just so healthy for you so that concept is also uh, being understood by people and they are adopting like even soy wax as i was telling you that mm -hmm. when you use any normal candle and i think we, lot of women men both they uh, buy these fragrance candles yeah. right mm. now those fragrance candle if it is made out of paraffin wax then it is basically uh, producing these fumes which are chemical so okay. they are not good for your health mm. so whereas when you use soy wax there is no uh, toxins there is absolutely natural fragrance and fra uh, natural aroma that comes out of it which is uh, absolutely good for your health i must so, say it's a great initiative a young in young girl and young mind and young fresh ideas so i think that's really needed of the hour and for the country for the earth save earth also we need that so i must say it's a great idea and uh, i had a great journey and understanding about these products and love this coconut my <laughs> eyes are their rice cups so i think it's wonderful concept keep going so i think you're going pan india pan world also yeah. making uh, india proud made in yes, india thank you. so you made it a big mark so i want you to just pray for your more success more products thank you and thank you giving me a wonderful interview and thank your journey thank you so much so thank you so much charu thank talking you. to thank us thank you thanks a lot so that was really inspirational journey eco friendly products especially coconut products rice product i discovered a lot i must we should go for it well it's a great startup great success and she wants that more competition should come that's a great spirit i liked about her well more more updates keep watching i dream till then goodbye